Hi guys, Horse Trader here. In this video, we're going to look at the list market type operation. Similar to my previous videos, we're going to change the URL endpoint to list market types. Note there's also some parameters here for filter that we could enter, which are obviously going to filter our results. So we'll go ahead and we'll post a request for a unfiltered response. So we have 185 length being returned. So as we can see here, there are lots of different market types. You have your game by game O3 market type, set winner market type, number of sets. Note that these are not sport specific. As I mentioned before, this is a filter. For example, we have a winner that could be any sport. We have a tournament winner. You can't have a tournament winner in a single horse race, for example, or in a single soccer match, for example. So what are some of the filters we can add to this? If you look at the betting type definitions, you'll notice that the market filter is just going to be a string. There are many different fields you can use. For a, example, event type IDs from my last video, venues, countries, in place status. So we'll go by event types for now. If you see from my last video, these are the event types they have. For example, soccer is one, horse racing is seven. We'll go ahead and we'll try horse racing. Let's go ahead and just copy and paste this. Keep it simple. Now we'll post these all again. And you can see there's a much smaller market type selection. Similarly, we could add a different sport. We could add soccer to our list. Note if you want to have multiple filters for the one filter type, you need to put them in square brackets. And again, this will re return multiple. Similarly, we could even add a different filter, for example, country. And we'll go EU, for example. So we want horse races and soccer matches in Australia. I actually don't think this will change size because all of these sports would be encompassed in Australia anyway. But for example, you can see soccer matches in Australia. So these are all the markets they have. And similarly, if you were to type New Zealand, this would be the same because that sport has the same markets. It's pretty much the same. But again, there are a number of filters we can use here. So I, I encourage you to play around, have a look, see what kind of filters you can come up with. As I said before, the documentation is very helpful here. So not only could you search for, uh, say, an in-play bet, but an in-play market in soccer, in Australia, and you know similar combinations of things. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and comment with what you would like me to cover in the next video.